Okay, welcome guys. So if you're watching this, we are doing a dummies guide to using Courseflare. This is more for the people on my server. Please note that the ADCO 1000 tractor does not work with this. It has a bit of issues, okay? So easiest way, one or two ways, you gotta just find out what your default key is. Mine used to be left click on your mouse and it will bring up this little menu. Otherwise, I've switched mine to delete and it will still bring up the same menu. So we've got two seeders a plow and that's going to be the same as the other one over there for fertilizer okay so first things first we're going to hook up to the plow so let's just go so if you want to right click to free range so once your mouse is out and about you really can't do much you have to put it back okay so we're going to collect to this plow oh yeah before i do Please note the bottom lines over here, there's nothing lit between that and that. And also do make sure you have got the latest version of Courseplay. I'm going to connect up to this plow here real quick. Okay, so now we are connected to the plow. You'll notice a little bar shows up and this disappears. So please note that different things will work differently. So like if I disconnect from this, it goes away. If I connect to... This one now you'll notice that it comes up on the other side so this is going to load a course to do that and then if i go to the other one it's going to load a course to do the plowing for me so what we're going to do is i want to plow two of my fields so we're going to connect up to this one we're going to select a plow so notice how i've selected it i'm going to plow at 87 uh, 88 and 72 so once you've selected that course over there, please note you don't have to really worry about anything else. The only other thing that you can really look at is um, all of these maneuvers, wages, deactivate, scanning fields. It's already scanned all the fields, so you can automatically repair your vehicles and everything there. We're not gonna get into that. We're just going to do this. So you're gonna go course generate now remember, I'm going to plow out one of the, I've got to plow out these two fields. So let's click field 88, so you'll notice it will pop up over there. You'll see we've got headlands, field center, bypass islands. None of our maps have any islands on it, so we will not be using this. It will automatically tell you your working width of your machine. Yeah, I don't have that on. So we're going to go from here, we're just going to select, select a position on the map, so you can select any position on that field. Headlands, I always just say short edges, it just makes a working thing better. Then you go course generate. Now, if we had to zoom in here a little bit, you'll see how it's gone around the field, right, ladies and gentlemen? So, once we've done that, you'll find this little save button right here. So we go there, and we're going to say F88, which is for field 88, and we're going to say plow. Now you can say it however you want. I'm using the John Deere, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to be switching plows up at any point in time. So we're just going to save. Now you'll notice it saves it down there. So at any point in time, you can always bring that plow up. So in Discord, if you're part of my server, this is how what format we're going to use for plowing. So however you just say F88 and do your formats, um, like if you're going to use the same plows and you're not changing plows, then this will be the format. If you are going to be using a different plow, just state what size it is, because this is a general plow I work off of. So now once we have that, let's get our sorry answers over to field 88.
So you can actually have just set it to go, but generally I just bring it closer so that it doesn't do its own thing and gets lost and off it goes. So all we're going to do, free up the mouse again, click this little button, make sure that you've always got it set to the first waypoint. If you are seeding, remember where you stop seeding and then when you get there you're going to be selecting next closest waypoint, but I will show you all of that a little bit later on. So we're going to go first waypoint and once we've got it, it says it's activated. So we're going to go drive course. So you'll notice the plow will go. So you can see notice that this is the course it's going to follow. You can even have it laid out on the field so you can actually see what it's doing. So you'll notice that it's, I don't know why it's doing it like this. Okay, so all I'm going to say is sometimes the game works itself out in its strange and weird and wonderful ways, okay? Okay, so this is it getting into position now. It's going to start its stage, and you'll see it will go up and down. So it might miss a few edges around the borders, which is fine. You guys can always go back and plow it afterwards. So once it gets going, we're going to skip ahead a little bit, and we will catch up with it when it is done. Okay, so it is now gone off. You'll notice it still has missed a point, but it's following its course. I'm going to leave the course up like that. We're just going to miss.
Yo, so everything is actually balanced out in this game. 